Hey YouTubers, so we got a little bit of work done. Um, not a massive amount, but some work nonetheless. I got my camshaft clearanced, and the way I went about this is you could buy a camshaft that's pre-clearanced like this one over here is. And this one is pre-clearanced by them. Oh, it doesn't focus very well. It's got little flats casted into the camshaft. Right here is a round part, and then on that side is a flat part. Um, you could also take your camshaft to a machine shop and they could mill it in a lay and turn the diameter down to whatever diameter you tell them you need. Or you can go the route I did, which is use a grinder and a die grinder to um, make the flats yourself. I used that camshaft as a pattern as because I put that one in here and it had tons of clearance. So I used that one as a pattern to kind of give me an idea where I need to go for my flats. And I still got to put my gear on here and the gear and turn everything around, make sure everything clears. But there's plenty of clearance there. If you do it yourself, the thing I noticed too is this little ridge here has to be machined down a little bit because the uh, rod just does kind of come clear to that, close to that. I don't think it shows it very well. But, um, you know, something to think about. That was a last thought there. And if they mill it on a mill or something on this one before they do any other machine work. So that's something there you got to kind of keep your eye out for. But anyway, so we'll get the gears on there. We'll get the pistons and cylinder, a cylinder and move it around and get all the rods on it so that we can make sure that everything's clearing, you know, that the rods are clearing all the case and that the pistons are not hitting the connecting rods or the crankshaft, I mean, on the counterweights. And then we can move on to the other side, do the same thing. And uh, then we can clean everything up, put our new pickup tube in, put our um, deep sump bolts in, make sure everything clears, of course, you know, and then we should be able to start bar bar blah, 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 buttoning up the bottom end. Sorry, tongue twister. It is midnight, guys, so please forgive me. <laughs> Anyways, um, so we'll get the bottom end all packaged up, and then um, after that we'll start on the... Uh, upper end. Um, I still got some work to do with the cylinder heads that I got. I got to get some valves and stuff for them. Um, and that's going to take a little bit of time, I think. But I have a lot to do before then. So anyways, if you guys are out there, you know, keep working on your cars. Um, let's uh, get all our little projects done. And let's have some fun doing it, you know. Um, like I say, if you guys like any of the videos, give a thumbs up. If you guys don't like the videos, leave comments. Tell me why. That's always good, you know, to know why somebody's not liking something. And uh, let's just have some fun out there and try and get this thing done. And hopefully, uh, you know, it's not been falling on my one video a week idea, but, you know, life happens, you know. <laughs> but we're getting there. Progress is progress. So, see you guys later. Have a good time. And let's get our cars back on the road.